Hey everyone, uh, I'm just checking audio. Does audio sound okay? <laughs> All right, it sounds like uh, it's not blowing anyone's eardrums out. Sweet, yeah, I've, I've got the oldest computer in the world and a microphone I've been using for like eight years, so. I'm surprised nothing is on fire right now. Welcome! <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, I couldn't get music up for this stream, so I encourage you to play your own playlists and hang out with me. Uh, today I got, I'm drawing this poster for Streamily. And uh, yeah, we got all our, got the hex squad up here. <laughs> I I wasn't gonna draw from scratch because like going through this messy process is always so uh, daunting in front of people because my sketches are nasty but uh ah, it'll be fun to just like dive into this stuff <laughs> hi chat I'm trying to keep up but you're going fast <laughs> Like I said, this is going to be a poster for Streamly. You can purchase it, link below. Uh, it's gonna be on sale for the next week and then we're gonna to have to put a cap on it. But also, uh, this stream is kind of a test for future streams because I think it would be cool if I could do these at least once a month. Um, my border is the ugliest thing in the world. I literally just did it in like five seconds because I realized uh, I learned how to do it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're all learning. We're all learning. Hope you've been doing great. I've been doing well. Thank you for asking. I'm trying to figure out what new projects lie ahead for me. And, uh, Sorry, figuring out where I'm gonna start. Hmm. <laughs> so I am working in Clip Studio. Uh, the pens I use are usually just the real G pen, which is like, I don't know, the first standard pen <laughs> you can get. Uh, because I am too lazy to download anything, so I just usually make do. And I'm gonna be drawing these kids Right now, it, like, they're drawn from various stages of the show, but I think I'm gonna do a post-finale, uh, like, post-finale, they're not, it's not the flash forward yet, but right after, uh, Bellos was defeated and they're all hanging out, so you're gonna watch me change their outfits and, and vibes as I go along because problem solving in the moment is a lot more fun than problem solving and sketching, in my opinion. Okay. Start with Willow, cause why the hell not? Just looking up a reference, looking up a reference for Clover because I have, it's the weirdest bee design. And I can never remember where the stinger is. It's on the face. All right. Uh, for people saying, no, start with this character, start with that character. Then We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Have some patience. Okay. Whoop, that was the wrong color. Starting off strong.
Did I see the eclipse? Hell yeah, I did. I wasn't expecting... Uh, I didn't know that was happening today. I, um... I woke up and I was texting some of my friends just like, why does it feel so fucking weird out? It's like there's two suns. It's like, it's not as bright as usual. Yeah, so it was a goddamn eclipse. And then everyone started sending photos to each other of uh, the little dappled eclipse lights that you could see. Ooh. My hand is shaking. I'm not used to drawing in front of people. That's okay. Just get used to it. Jesus Christ. Do I think Luce writes cringy Good Witches Zora? Fan fictions, of course. We all write cringy shit of our favorite uh, shows and movies. High school, I think I did a lot of Teen Titans fan fiction, Kingdom Hearts. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Luce did the same, or Amity, for that matter. <laughs> Together, Terrace. I always have so much respect for artists who draw live a couple times a week, every day, who'll just sit and chill with people online every day, like, uh, you know, those VTubers. When I used to look at those character rigs, I'd think like, whoa, that's weird, I don't know about that, but you know, after a while, it's like, those things are kind of cool. They're well-made, they're interesting. Ooh, I don't know about that. And uh, yeah, I just, I just admire being able to do stuff like that all the time. Am I comfortable providing my address? No, but thank you for asking. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've drawn witches, I almost gave her human ears. Oopsie. I didn't like how those lines were looking. Nope, starting over. Wow. Never be precious. Is this pen? No. Is this pen? No. Keep it. 
Sometimes you gotta delete your art. It's true. It's true. Do I ever get writer's block? All the time. My entire life is writer's block. My entire life is artist's block. But, you know, you learn to identify it and take a walk, do something else, watch something that inspires you. And when you have a deadline, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you have writer's block, you have, you have some shit to get done. Just like I'm having a little trouble getting started with Willow now, I'm gonna go in with a different approach. Like figure out her silhouette and then go in with the details of the strands. And if I stream more often, this won't be so hard eventually. But I don't know if any of you are in art school or ha have ever experienced that feeling of a uh, of a art teacher or even other students in your class going around taking a peek at your work just not showing any expressions no emotions just being like hmm brutal terrifying even if they're thinking in their head like wow that that looks great i fucking hate those moments <laughs> is there. Shoulder would probably be more out here. There we go. That's another thing that could help during, if you're having trouble with the drawing, if you're having trouble in one area, I always have trouble in the fucking, with hair. I just can't, I've never been able to find a satisfying solution for hair uh so it always takes me like twice as long to draw it than anything else so when i get stuck my move is to move on to something i do know how to draw and i do like to draw uh and that's like clothing folds arms um expressions stuff I got the chat over here, so I'm just checking. <laughs> yeah, a nap and a snack is also a good way <laughs> to get through a little art block. Can't deny that. Oh, 
comes up over here, so honor that crease. Sometimes just throwing random lines at something can help you feel out the form of something you're stuck on. And then those mistakes or those shortcuts turn into a style. Maybe they look bad to some people. Maybe they look bad to you. But once you find something that does look kind of cool, I just kind of like lean into it. That's a lot of where someone's personal style comes in. Just like trying to work around frustrating points of a drawing that you tend to run into regularly. Finger for Clover to land on. This scribble, yeah, that's supposed to be her talisman. <laughs> too much tension in those hand folds, especially because got to be aware of how small the drawing actually is compared to the bigger piece. I do not like that fold. What do I think of a crossover of Owl House Amphibia and Gravity Falls? Uh, it would be cool. It would be pretty neat. But I don't think it'll ever happen. <laughs> Unfortunately. And if I'm to be completely honest, I... Like drawing posters, drawing my own fan art for the show is all fun and lovely, but I think for now I'm done living in that world. It's just, it's just been a while and I have ideas and plans for something new. <laughs> it's blurry enough, you can't see anything on there, right? Good. <laughs> Do I think it's possible to get into animation without finishing school? Um, 
uh, that could either mean without finishing college or without finishing high school. Um, you, <laughs> I mean, the truth is, you're, and I'm not encouraging anything, but you don't need either degree to work in animation. One of, um, one writer that I've worked with for years who uh, I think is, you know, extremely good at his job and ex an extremely empathetic uh, writer when it comes to characters, figured out a lot of stuff for Ida. Um, uh, yeah, never, never finished high school and is pr quite proud of that fact. And um, that's not me saying drop out immediately, but sometimes life circumstances put you on a different path. But animation is a very, uh, there's very little like academic gatekeeping here. As long as you can draw and as long as you're not an asshole, you will probably be able to find a job. I mean, there's other circumstances notwithstanding, like having a frustratingly, uh, ha having a, fr like a, having a social media presence, which can be frustrating for some people. Um, and, you know, having a proper portfolio, but short answer to do you need a degree? Do you need a specific degree? Do you need any kind of degree? Not really. That's kind of what I love about this industry, because everything you need to learn is right online. someone who did not do well in school uh, even in animation school I didn't have a particularly fantastic time I learned a lot from my peers I uh, you know made some good friends but what really helped me was meeting people online from other schools, learning from them and putting myself out there and signing up for, you know, whatever internships and freelance that were paying because uh, luckily I did have someone tell me early on, never work for free. Exposure, working for exposure is a lie and a cheat. Okay, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Getting the hang of drawing live. Interesting, very interesting. Uh, will there also be a Patreon stream this month? Yes. I haven't decided uh, if it'll be a Twitch. I don't know how if I can make that members only. I'm still doing re research on that stuff, um, but I'll probably have to make a Discord. But yes, there will be another stream this month for patrons, and I'll do something like Halloween-y, spooky theme, maybe one of those tell me six fan arts to, to make me draw six vampires or whatever. It could be fun.
weird B thing. I actually really like Clover. She has a very cute design. Just a lot of precise circles. <laughs> that will probably make me swear a lot. Fuck! Favorite holiday? I like Halloween, even though I I always rev myself up for Halloween. Like, yeah, this year I'm going to throw a Halloween party. This year I'm going to do this crazy costume. And then when the actual time comes around, uh, something gets in the way, life gets in the way. How, what the fuck am I doing with Clover's design right now? It's not working. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's one of those holidays that has high expectations and uh, when it's good it's amazing and when it stinks it's yeah I'm not too bothered yeah shit happens I've never had a horrendous Halloween which I can't say for any other holiday Eyeline, eyeline, eyeline. It's important to make sure your characters look like they're looking at each other. Unless they're not supposed to be looking at each other. Girl's got a stinger on both ends. Woo! I should know this. <laughs> Do I like Christmas? Nah. Nah. Christmas ain't my thing. Ain't my thing. New Year's though, always have fun on New Year's. What's up with my drawing hand? What do you mean? Oh fuck, um, this is just a, a drawing glove, so uh, your hand sm uh, glides smoother on the screen, and if you have, you know, kind of sweaty hands, the, s the Cintiq screen gets very hot, and it keeps it from getting gross. Also, there's a nice, um, there's a nice feeling of, like, you put this glove on, Time to get to work. Take the glove off. Time to chill. Work is over. All right, let's finish up Clover here. I think if you're able to, uh, the, the working at home all through the pandemic uh, and still to this day, um, having as many layers between your personal time and your work time I think is very important like kind of I treat this little glove almost like a uniform um, when I put it on I'm in work mode drawing mode and when I take it off nothing matters it's kind of like also having your computer in another room those lines. Yeah, I like the silhouette better. Alright, I will hop back to Willow in just a moment. 
think people have been staring at this Amity sketch in the Streamily page for long enough. Let's give her a little life. Also, I want to draw a cat. Hair would still be longer if this was right after bite. Mm. <laughs> we'll figure out which side her part is on. Hair would be a little longer. It would still be shoulder length. What was the most fun thing I drew from Gravity Falls? Ooh, easy. Uh, for the finale when Stan punches Bill in the face. That was me. <laughs> that was the, like, uh, I also boarded the cold open for the last Mabel corn, and it was just like this entire nightmare sequence. I remember uh, it was a little bit of a last minute edition, so I had two days to do it. And I just got in the zone, and um, it was also the first time I showed boards to my director, who was, um, who, was also like kind of my mentor. Taught me how to board on the job. Ooh, that ear is too close to her fucking eye. Um, and it was the first time I got no notes back. I was very proud. Yes, I did animate Bill glitching as well. And I think the final uh, final effects, all the extra cool glows and stuff came from Ian Worrell, the art director. I think those old gifs are up somewhere, like probably on my Tumblr or something. Drawing a cat. <laughs> this cat looks a little too realistic for the character design of Ghost. I was probably think of, thinking of my own cat, Ghost, who is taking a nap in the other room right now. Like the angel she is. But, uh... Oh, do the earrings hang? I don't know. Maybe these are different earrings. She's got multiple sets. Yeah, she got those cheeks. Kitty cheeks. not looking correct, so I will 
Get back to it. In a second. Moving on. this drawing teacher in college he uh, he taught figure drawing took him for two years um, he always would notice that me and some other students would subconsciously hold our breath while we drew uh, breaths and so every time I like <laughs> I always hear his voice in, in my head just saying breathe like overacting in the corner <laughs> remember to breathe everyone it's just as good as drinking water just started figure drawing class any tips oh i hope you have a lot of fun i love figure drawing classes um uh I think what helped me get most comfortable with drawing the body uh, is trying to start from different parts. Like, I think it's a go-to that everyone starts with the head and figures out their way down. Um, I My favorite pl place to start is usually the torso and then spread out. Um, there was a while where I was drawing feet up uh, just to see if I could, and eventually I could. but. It's a drawing feet up actually helped a lot in animating, like literally just animating frame by frame because um, it helped teach me tracking. But yeah, just challenge yourself in a lot of weird ways. And you will see, you will start noticing improvement no time and if it feels frustrating that means you're growing and it feels if it feels frustrating to the point where uh you want to die maybe you're not growing maybe you're actually stuck on something in which case switch up your medium switch up your pencils to paint try something drastically different and that might push you out of that funk Is anyone here going to Momocon? Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> it's 
going to be uh, my first big, big convention um, in a while. And I'm going to be going with some of the other cast, Nikki Robles, uh, and Zeno Robinson. We're going to be going with Streamly. It'll be fun. Oh, do I have it open? Damn it. Hmm. I was just uh, looking for an art book that I thought I had lying around, but I do not. is mm. uh, that is acceptable and I'll figure out the real solution later. starting to look a little too much like my cat. Ever since I got Ghost, she has like these really, no matter how much, you know, how much she weighs, she just has those creepy gaunt cheekbones. Make me laugh so much. Oh, she just heard me. Maybe we'll have a cameo. Any tips for people who, um, hi, sorry, I've just been graced by a little angel. Come here, baby. Hi, sweets. that question I just saw briefly. Uh, tips for talking to people who probably don't think art is a viable uh, career. Um, it seems to me that more than anything, a lot of art careers are a little more stable than others just because people always need art for things. They need graphics, they need signs, they need uh, character designs for entertainment. Um, the Every industry, people need tattoos. Every industry has its ebbs and flows, but uh, I'm not saying an art career is safe, and I'm not saying it's difficult. It's not difficult. Um, but it's not anything crazier than I don't know, any other kind of job, going into software engineering, going into 
Going into law. <laughs> Going into the to academia. So sometimes people who just immediately hear you're in art. Whoops. Sometimes you'll just have people who, no matter what you say, no matter what statistics you show them, no matter what they hear, they'll always think like that it's not a safe bet. And it's unfortunate, but sometimes you just gotta prove them wrong. myself out of chat for a second. Oopsie. If you hear like anything that sounds like a <laughs> off screen, <laughs> that's ghost. If you've seen my stories, you've heard her creepy meow. She has asthma, so she uh, we give her a little inhaler every day, and she has a weird little, little weird little cough meow. It's cute in a really sad way. <laughs> Solidarity? Yes. Let's see, her roots would really be coming in now. But wrong, incorrect. I'll figure that when I color. Ooh. If last we saw them it was closer to Halloween, then let's say this takes a couple month months after. It's winter. It's cold. Everyone's wearing long sleeves and shit. Why the hell not? Whenever I draw sketches, I always do the lollipop head thing where their heads end up way too big for their body. Even though that might be more show accurate, I personally like slightly more. Really, can you stop eating things off the ground? Thank you, my sweet. 
Devil. Oh my god, ghost. <laughs> One second. She's on my lap. Oh, no, she's not. Oh my god, one of these days I should, uh, that doesn't hook up with her shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, one of these days I should hook up, uh, my phone over my, uh, traditional table over on the side, show you how I ink with a nib and microns and all that. It is a shit show. <laughs> it's just absolute chaos. I have like a pile of napkins that I save in my drawer that sits between uh, my computer desk and my traditional desk, um, specifically because I've tipped over my um, inkwell so many times. <laughs> like have all these precautionary things to save my life uh, instead of just learning how to do something properly. But what's life without a little chaos? I don't like how that arm is coming out. Figure it out later. Moving on to her hand. Nope, that's a horrible hand. That's a broken hand. It's not a, not a nice hand. Yuck, yuck, yuck. How embarrassing. Oh, those came out so nice. Hmm. Sometimes it'd be like that. Back into the sketch.
other than Sissy, do I know anyone who uh, started at a non-creative job and moved on over? Yeah, plenty of people. I think like a third, if not half of everyone in animation, um, pardon, started by doing something else for a while and then realized it wasn't what they wanted. And uh, I know people who were chefs, who were also in tech, like Sissy was, business, biology. Um, and all those people, even though, you know, they might feel bad about coming into animation late, even though they might feel nervous Ha like having spent so many years doing something else, um, I find that they end up having way more creative ideas and kind of a wider perspective and a more open mind for like different kinds of stories, different structures for writing. Um, and I'm not putting anyone else down who just went into animation straight away. That's what I did. Um, but if that wasn't your path, don't feel bad about it. You have a lot of useful and extra knowledge now that you can put into storytelling, into drawing, and that's gonna give your work a flavor that no one else has. I think that's pretty damn cool. Just there's like a certain amount of meat in your hand that does get pressed up, that does get pushed up if you put weight on it. But <laughs> gotta know when to pull back. These are cartoony characters. And if I give them my like gross spider hands, then nah, they're not gross. They're just hyper realistic. Do I know about Big City Greens? Yeah, of course. Uh, Chris and Shane Houghton. I, I worked with Chris Houghton on Gravity Falls. You know, they're both lovely people. Making, making good stuff over there. Yeah, Amphibia and Owl House were, uh, like, we were all kind of greenlit in a year and a half of each other, more or less. Um, and while we were all still at Disney, you know, we get lunch sometimes. It was nice. Cat feet, cat feet. Cat feet are weird. flat but not a tangent. In this house, we hate line tangents. Well, 
unless it's on purpose, which they rarely are. Someone saying uh, Owl House and Amphibia got greenlit in February, and Amphibia and why Owl House had a delay in the. Pr Our shows were. Oh. <laughs> Our shows were not greenlit at the same time. Um, we were six or seven months apart from each other. Um, uh, Amphibia. It's kind of like. So, like in development, they do these kind of rounds, like they'll, for example, bring in four projects to develop at once, and uh, they'll greenlit one out of them. Uh, Amphibia was the kind of group before me. I was part of another group. Um, so yeah, there's really, there's no secret hot gossip there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, happy birthday. Tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Tomorrow. <laughs> Yay. Floating, floating. Or so. Oh, wow, it's already almost two, or it is two. gonna leave loose for last. No. Favorite for last. Will this drawing be as print on Streamly? Yes! That's why I'm doing this stream in the first place. Uh, instead of signing things live, which is what a lot of people do for Streamly, I thought maybe draw something, because drawing is fun. It's so fun. <laughs> from this particular head shape in the sketch, but let's go with it.
second. Sorry. Just. No. <laughs> Wrong screen. Need reference since his final design ended up with a lot of these details. You know, right after the uh, incidents of the finale and the Boiling Isles is back to normal and everyone's like, you know, chilling it would be the wrong word, but rebuilding the Isles, taking time for themselves, yes, probably going to therapy, Steve has a great recommendation. <laughs> uh, I imagine Hunter would cut his hair again, or have Willow cut his hair again, like in Thanks to Them. So going back to short hair. And then he grows it out in the flash forward as we've all seen. <laughs> yes, have to keep the hair noodle. <laughs> it's so funny when I saw people calling it that. Not if the hair noodle is going to create a tangent. No line tangents. <laughs> okay, so what first? Slightly, <coughs> pardon, slightly smaller hair noodle. Oh, someone asked what a tangent is. Um, allow me to be a good. Ah, okay. Let me draw this first and then I will show you a sample of a line tangent. Okay, so got Hunter's face. More or less. Gonna uh, let me draw the ear here. The other ear. Boop it about. Okay. Um, a tangent, for example, is say I'm drawing in this cloud behind Hunter. Wow, so fluffy, perfect, golly. And then I finish the cloud on the other side like that. You see that line right there? It kind of cuts his ear. It's, or even if it's just like, just close enough that it's like two pixels are almost kissing each other. Um, and it creates an odd illusion of, well, what's his, e like, where does the cloud start? Where does the ear end? Um, and it's those kind of like, it creates these tiny little holes that will drag your eye right to it. And it's very frustrating to see, uh, for some people. And it like distracts you away from, you know, what you actually want to show which is you know your character's expressions or you know a beautiful bird wing or something um i worked with someone who uh was a 
very, very great character designer uh, who would always point out my tangents because apparently I would, I wouldn't notice them as much. Um, and I took that lesson to heart because I love inking and, you know, I always want to improve. Um, those are things like when you're painting, you can always push back using color, using blending, rendering, but it's important to look out for in inking. That's just one example. But I hope that explained it. It's winter. Just give him a scarf. One moment, please. Ghost, she's at my feet again. Hmm. There's a certain way some people simplify like tassels on a scarf. That looks like like just a bunch of fingers. <laughs> Well, it's the boiling aisles, so. Yeah, I'll just make it a boiling aisle scarf. Which means it's probably got claws on it. A ghost cam? Oh, that would be so cute. Yeah. She has a little bed set up uh, near one of my desks so she can chill while I draw. Set up a little cam. Watch her lick her butt, as cats will do. Ooh, that looks kind of stupid. Problem solving! Hey, it's my favorite part. And also probably kind of frustrating to watch. That's okay. Just give him a simple scarf for now. You know what? That'll do. And what chat? Hang on. What kind of jacket?
that the pretentious scarf from Sense and Insensitivity? You know what? Now it is. Uh, Hunter probably saw King wearing it in a commercial. I was like, I gotta have it. <laughs> your shoulder, good sir. Please tell me. You know, I'm starting to realize that this isn't that different from how much I'll just talk to the drawing I'm drawing. <laughs> Even when I'm not live and being watched by 1500 people. I'll just casually start asking the drawing, why aren't you working? Why aren't you showing me how to draw you? Why are you being such a pain in my ass? Not that I'm having a bad time right now. It's just a habit. I'm tempted to draw both flapjack and pancake, or waffle rather, flapjack and waffle. I don't know if that would be too much. <laughs> both? Yeah, well yeah, flapjack's dead. It would be more of like a, a whisper of flapjack. Uh, symbolism rather than, you know, having such hard lines that every other character has right now. Secret third bird? Who's the secret third bird? I mean, this is just Albert and <laughs> Mike Sock. I will do that in a moment. Um, well, since it's already 2.20, I should let you guys know. I uh, wasn't prepared to do this for longer than an hour and a half, so unfortunately I will have to end the stream in about 10 minutes. But, you know, because I barely got anything done, I will set up a part two stream and make sure I can stay there for a couple hours and finish this thing with you guys. Um, and I'll try to set that up sometime this week. And that also gives me more opportunities to get used to this process. And like I said, everything is being recorded um, and will be posted either tonight or sometime tomorrow for people who couldn't be here. So yeah, let's just get started on Gus a little bit for the next 10 minutes. Sleepy boy. I actually really like how this sketch came out for him. Like, just the, might not be 
anatomically, like the skull might not be perfect, but I think I got the expression I wanted. Yeah. These angles, there's like a... Got the front of the plan and the, the, the... Okay, I just drew his ear a little low. Boop. Nope, that's incorrect. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta draw it wrong before you draw it right. And that didn't come out correct either. But that's okay. <laughs> Gus's palisman is low-key kind of hard to draw, <laughs> but his expression is so goofy and wall-eyed, uh, I love him so much. <laughs> Emmeline Christophe. What's the full name? Oh gosh. Emmeline, Emmeline Christostomo or something. <laughs> Emmeline Christostomo. Uh, Cause like one of the horns is broken at this angle. Let me start with the face. There we go. Yep, if you get stuck, do something, go somewhere you know you want to hit, that you know you can draw at this time, and work around everything else. and bun tail. Yes, I agree with Marcy's stab wound. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> Drawing at this angle is uh, painful sometimes. So, let me try. A cheat. Not a cheat. I'm just problem solving. Haha. <laughs> And have him curled up like a cat. Is that what chameleons look like? Eh, probably not, but it's the boiling aisle, so hey, hey, we can do whatever we want. He's using his giant cinnamon bun tail. 
That's a pillow! Cause that's cute. Adorable. Love it. Go on with it. Well, I didn't get as much finished as I would have liked, but um, yeah, I think Willow's coming out cute. The hunter just needs his bird friends. Amity's more or less there. Loose, of course, best for last. Um, and Gus is. I would say 30% done. We'll get there. We'll get there. Next stream. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this, guys. I hope to make this a more regular thing. Um, I hope to draw a lot more and get faster drawing in front of people, learn how to stream some music. <laughs> um, yeah, and the print, the, the final print of this is still on sale, sale and will remain available for purchase until the end of uh, next Friday when this will be complete. And once, they're, once the print is completed and finished and painted and all that, uh, they will be signed. I will sign them all um, and get them mailed out. But the streams for this will remain open to the public. Um, any streams I have in the future that are non-print related, you can go to my Patreon at Dana Terrace, uh, where I'm just currently just uploading sketches for shelved projects and maybe future projects, uh, and just talking about my drawing philosophies, talking about art, um, we can draw some memes together, you know, I'm fun, chill. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me and looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye!